friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need vinegar or eggplant this is chopped tomatoes here i take two medium size tomatoes this is adrak that is ginger this is elaichi that means cardamom and dalchini that means cinnamon sticks This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. This is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder. This is dhania powder that means coriander powder. This is bhuna hua besan that means roasted gram flour. This is red dry chili or sukhi lal mirchi. This is garam masala powder. And this is ghee. Our oil is nicely heated up. So put little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder. Mix it well. Add little bit of salt or namak. Now add the bacon or eggplant. Let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so we are going to take them out. We need to grind tomatoes, bhuna hua besan, or roasted gram flour, adrak or ginger, two red dry chili or sukhi lal mirchi, and elaichi. or cardamom and dalchini or cinnamon sticks we will grind it with water or pan we have finished grinding now in the same oil put elaichi or cardamom and cinnamon stick that is dalchini Red dry chili or sukhi lal mirchi. Now add one tablespoon of haldi powder and one tablespoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. Mix them. Now add the tomato paste. Add salt to taste or lemon, and sugar to balance it. That means chini. Let them cook for a while. Our gravy is simmering for five minutes now. So in this stage, we are going to put one teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder. That means roasted cumin powder. One teaspoon of dhania powder. Mix them all. Now add the fried bacon or eggplant. Let them cook for a while. Our gravy is simmering for seven to eight minutes now, so it is almost done. So in this stage, we are going to put little bit of garam masala powder and one teaspoon of ghee into it. Mix it. Now add. Fried kasuri methi, and you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes, and please subscribe my channel.